Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Are you really speaking? Not really. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey! Oh. You're a mean man! Oh. He's an evil man. He deserves more. Right! Oh. When I first saw the Magic Crystal back in the early 1990s, I was blown away by its unmatched energy, exciting fight scenes and wacky comedy. And while it's not perfect, the film has always been a firm favourite among Hong Kong film fans, mostly due to its powerful martial arts action and the great cast that's on offer. No doubt wanting to cash in on the success of Spielberg movies such as Raiders of the Lost Dark and E.T., Hong Kong director Wong Jing delivers a wild blend of parody sci-fi and martial arts action wrapped up in a family-friendly comedy without ever veering off into his usual lowbrow or sexualized jokes. With its Chinese title literally translating as Magic Jade, Magic Crystal was shot between Hong Kong and Greece, getting a release in the Philippines as Fight to Win, which was ironically the title of another Rothrock and Richard Norton film that would come out the following year. The same Filipino distributors would go on to release Cindy's hit film Writing Wrongs as Fight to Win 2 and the fun Yukari Oshima action comedy A Book of Heroes as Part 3. Apart from its fun and memorable score courtesy of Joseph Yip, Magic Crystal boasts a strong cast with superstar Andy Lau Takwa leading the way named Hunting Eagle after one of his earlier TV roles. He stars alongside martial arts legends Cynthia Rothrock and Richard Norton as well as Wong Jing himself, the hilarious Nat Chan, handsome Max Mok, Kung Fu Queen Wong Mei Mei, Charlotte Chung Man, Philip Ko Fei, Mac Wai Chung, Chung Fat, Shek Ken, Eddie Maher, popular child actor of the time Bin Bin, and Tony Lung Su Hung, brother of the legendary Bruce Lung, with Tony also providing the incredible and highly exciting fight choreography generously offered throughout the movie. Magic Crystal would be the first film produced under the movie Impact Banner, the same company behind many other Andy Lau hit films including Runaway Blues, City Kids 1989, The Truth, A Moment of Romance, Dragon and Jail, The Tigers, and The Last Blood, which was also directed by the infamous Wong Jing. But this would be the first project that saw Wong Jing direct Andy Lau, a move that set in place a long working relationship with the pair later delivering hit titles including The Crazy Companies 1 and 2, Casino Raiders and its sequel, Crocodile Hunter, God of Gamblers 1 and 2, Tricky Brains, Dances with Dragon, Casino Tycoon, Future Cops, A True Mob Story, Chasing the Dragon, and the aforementioned action thriller The Last Blood, along with so much more. Although they had shared the screen on Sammo Hung's Millionaire's Express before this, Magic Crystal would only be the third Hong Kong film for both Cynthia Rothrock and Richard Norton, with the former starring in the powerful Yes Madam, and Richard appearing in Sammo Hung's Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. While Norton would return to work with Wong Jing a number of years later in Jackie Chan's hilarious City Hunter, Magic Crystal would be the only time that Cynthia Rothrock would work with the director. Interestingly, the pair would occur a lot of injuries during production, with Richard Norton catching a bacterial infection on his leg, as well as gaining a slashed eye during a fight scene with Rothrock. And before production began, Cindy herself was suffering from an injured ACL, going on to damage her knee even more during a fight scene in Greece, which led to her accidentally stabbing her on-screen opponent in the groin with her spear. While shooting Magic Crystal, Cindy was also in the midst of making writing wrongs with Yoon Byo and Corey Yoon Kwai, spending a total of 10 days on this production, with both her and Richard Norton having since revealed that they had no script to work with here, often turning up on the day to have a few notes of lines given to them from director Wong Jing. Of course, the pair would go on to form a strong relationship that would see them work together in a number of exciting projects, including the aforementioned Fight to Win, Lady Dragon, China O'Brien 1 and 2, Rage and Honor 1 and 2, and Redemption with Don the Dragon Wilson, often seen by film fans as one of the best on-screen pairings of their era. 
The Magic Crystal allows them both to deliver their finest action performances ever, with Tony Leung choreographing some intricate and powerful fights that uses traditional Kung Fu styles including Eagle's Claw and the Deadly Mantis, as well as letting Richard show off his skills with a pair of Sai. While its odd mix of sci-fi, comedy and hardcore martial arts action may seem odd to most Western viewers, it wasn't unusual for Hong Kong cinema and especially Wong Jing to blend many genres together in order to tell a tale. In fact, it's a trait I personally love about them and one of the main reasons I fell in love with Hong Kong cinema in the first place, making for a welcome change of the normality and simple storytelling of the big Hollywood productions. And with that, The Magic Crystal stands tall and proud as one of these genre blending titles, hailed for over 30 years as one of the best martial arts flicks of modern action cinema that never fails to entertain, with its recent restorations and Blu-ray releases from the UK, France, USA and Hong Kong proving its worth.